Hi, this is Curtis from Beyond Backtesting, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some tips for how you can make the most of a, out of a very large uh, uh, PC screen or TV as a monitor. Either you're using a very, maybe one of the, the very large, uh, the newer, very large uh, dedicated PC monitors, or you're using a 4K TV as your monitor. Um, and I'm going to share a scalp, my scalping layout, one of my scalping layouts, um, a representative form. It's not my exact scalping layout because I don't want to share my any proprietary uh, stuff I'm doing, but it's very similar. Uh, I'll be sharing that. But if you're not a scalper, um, or you know maybe you're a trading uh, developer, system developer, then stick around because I think you're going to get some tips and tricks that may help you if you're planning on using a large screen, a large TV as your as your monitor. Now let me talk a little bit about TVs as monitors. I uh, have been using a 4K TV as my monitor, a 55 inch, for the past several years. I picked it up on sale some some years back for about uh, either 550 or 650, which is very low price um, at that time. Uh, you know, particularly, uh, and it's been a be better monitor quality wise than, than high end Dell monitors I had used in the past. So um, if you do your research. And there's a little more research you have to do when you think about buying a TV as a monitor. Uh, the, the display panels on the TVs now, you get a lot. You can get a lot more bang for your buck. You can get 4K, and it can actually be better than your highest end uh, monitors. Um, so it's a very viable type of thing to do. Uh, now, in terms of doing your research, let me suggest you go to ratings.com, R T I N G I N G S, or type it, or search for TV monitor as as uh, uh, 4K TV as monitor, and you'll get into some of the technical details. I'm not going to go into that in any great extent, but there's some considerations you want. You want to look at the input. You want to look at that you have 4.4 chroma uh, and can you do 60 hertz. Those are the types of things you want to look at. There's a couple. You want to look at the types of imports uh, inputs you have. So there's a couple more considerations uh, it, it, when you use a a uh, 4K TV right as a as a monitor. Than just, buying a, than just buying a monitor because you want to make sure it has the right inputs, the right uh, settings, so you get it, uh, everything looks great on it. My, my, my text is super clear. The only thing I did have was red text was a little bit blurred uh, on this Samsung model, but I went in and I changed the, uh, I turned on the UH, uh, HDR color or, U, or high definition color or something, and that seems to have improved that. But uh, normal, the, the normal text was, has always been very sharp. I felt that the reds was a little hard to read, but reds are kind of kind of bleed anyway. But uh, overall, the text quality is super super sharp, uh, and just from a productivity standpoint, it's it's, it's better than uh, you know most of your monitors uh, that you would buy because you're getting so much more space. Now, 55 inches. Uh, let me say, 55 inches will take some time to adapt to. It's at the, kind of the, towards the limit of what's comfortable to use. Now, some people use larger screens, but then they usually sit further back. Um, so 55 inches is kind of like if you're sitting about arm's distance, a little bit shorter than arm's distance, There's your, your entire field of view is probably much pretty much taken up with your 55 inch. Uh, having said that, 4K, it's only 1480 panels. So resolution-wise, you could definitely, this is really, you could definitely go much higher when using the, this as a, uh, you know, in terms of uh, the, the resolution would definitely be better. Now, they do have 8Ks a day. Uh, Samsung has an 8K. It's very expensive, but but I, I definitely would like to have more resolution because, and that's kind of what brought this on is how can I get the most, because my field of view is already taken up, right? Uh, how can I get the most of this, of what I have here, or could I add another monitor? And it's going to be really hard to add a, another monitor because uh, there's my entire field of view is taken up. Now, I've got a little bit of space on the sides. I can maybe add something, but that's kind of the other consideration. It's once you get to this size, your whole entire view, you, you know, you're using pretty much your entire field of view. So unless you go up to an 8K or something, uh, maybe you could go for the 65 inch, but I feel like that would be, you know, this was hard enough to get used to. Um, if you don't want to spend a lot of time to adapt to it, I would say a 49 inch or a 50 inch would probably be the easiest, largest monitor to adapt to, or TV as a monitor, be about 49 inch. Uh, <clears throat> so with that other way, uh, when you use this type of a, a display this big, you, 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 there's probably about a, an area about, uh, you know, about 70%, maybe 75% of the display, and this kind of, this is on here, which is really uh, comfortable looking at. Look at some of your centered on your screen. This is kind of center area, and then when you go up to above that, it's, it's kind of your periphery, um, depending on how far away you're sitting. So the consideration is, you know, how do you is that you typically want to be taking your windows, like say your browser, and putting it towards the center of the monitor versus trying to use it full screen. Um, and what I'm showing here is I've got multiple desktops. You can put 
you could have one desktop and put your stuff in one desktop. You could have, you know, I'm not going to be opening up things because it may reveal my account number, but you can say for this matrix here, you know, within TradeStation, I could open up a matrix inside this in the, inside this workspace, no problem. I could make this full screen or size it to the side. And I had used that in the past, but this I feel like this having a couple of different workspaces, I mean, a couple of different uh, desktops is more flexible. And uh, simply because I can size the center portion right where I want it, and uh, have some other spaces here too. It just feels a little more flexible to me. Uh, although you certainly you could do it in other ways, and that's how I had done in the past. Is I had one desktop and and kind of centered the stuff. But this this way, my trade station doesn't take up the entire screen, and only this only where it needs to be. Uh, versus having to make it full screen and put it in the center, the, everything in the towards the center of the of the display. Uh, at any rate, so um, so so what I have here is is. Uh, uh, desktops, custom desktops for each, uh, each, uh, kind of each area of the screen. This, this center portion here is basically my charts. Uh, again, I have some very fast charts down here and they're larger. I have some higher time frame charts, very similar to this. And I have a, uh, 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 you know, a radar screen here for instruments. This area is for like custom. It's going to be for like uh, custom displays, like dashboard displays, maybe some charts where I'm looking at indicators and things. Uh, this uh, is some things to keep me on the right side of the market of the ideas. This would be my positions or my fields. Here would be my news. Um, so once you have your display set up like this, right, you have your windows, the next question is how do you save them, right? So I have a program here called uh, Display Fusion Pro. There are a couple different window managers, and I haven't purchased this one because I'm still trialing it, but this may be the one I end up using. But Display Fusion Pro, uh, there, there's a couple good ones out there. This one seems like it might be one of the better ones. Uh, Display Fusion Pro, though, what you can do is, is you can actually go to um, you can actually go to I'm having some trouble here, uh, unfortunately. Uh, obviously, I'm not click on this. For some reason, it's not displaying. Unfortunately. Um, Maybe because I'm recording or, well, here it is. Uh, it should have been coming up down there, but for some reason it wasn't. You can go to window position profiles and save a profile. It saves all your windows. I'm not gonna do that now, but it basically, uh, window position profiles, you can save all these windows, okay? And then you can restore them. And I believe there's a way of setting up a hotkey if you if you wanna do that as well. So once you get your windows where you want them, you save that profile and now you've saved this. So that's one thing you can do. The other thing it can do while well, I'm on the top of Display Fusion is you can also you can also um, I'm trying to see how this works. Uh, it's normally I, I pull it up from down here, but you can also. Um, here it is. You can also um, split your monitor up into make it act like multiple monitors. Um, and so this is very handy. Uh, Maybe may be very handy for you depending on how you want to work. You can do splits and padding. And you can go here to say a 2-2 and you can see here, you know, if you have 4K, you can have this equivalent of four 1080 panels. The downside to this, as you see, this is this center space where the corners meet is where your probably your best focus area is, and that's where all the corners meet. So, so, um, but but you can do a custom split, and uh, this splits. Uh, the way it creates the splits is actually very. Um, it's it's for complicated splits. It's actually um, very uh, painstaking to get this right. But you could start with a center one here. Right, and uh, make that, uh, well, make this, these others smaller so you can have a bigger uh, center split. And again, this takes a lot of trial and error, so, so it's not the most, um, you know, and then you can make these smaller, right? Okay. And then you can have a, you know, create, you can create your center there. Again, it takes a little bit of trial and error. I'm not going to show you how to do that, but it's not the most uh, intuitive way of doing it, in my opinion. Uh, but that is another thing you can do if you have a very large display is, is use these splits and you can make it function 
as multi monitors. So using this this uh, this uh, move to next window here, you can actually you know it can actually kind of detect where your window is, and you can maximize it within the spaces. So that's Display Fusion. That's one thing that comes in. The other thing you can do is use the built-in Windows Virtual Desktops functions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be pressing the Windows key and Control and left or right. And if you create a virtual desktop, let's say you have your, you know, you get your your setup here. Whether it's a maybe this is your, you know, your scalping setup, but you also have a development setup. We want to be that's going to be a little different. Um, instead of having to rearrange everything and uh, you know save and store all those windows. Um, you can use the virtual desktop control windows left and 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 create another uh, desktop here where you could put in say if you want to do web browsing or or um, uh, you know email stuff like that. So that's the other thing you can do too. Because again, what kind of brought this on is I'm already I'm already maxed out uh, space wise, right? Maybe some of the newer monitors would, or newer TVs would have a little better quality, but uh, you know I was thinking about can I add something somewhere and really there's no more space to add anything. So unless I go to 8K and I could put more in the same, the question is, is you know, how do you get more uh, use, uh, you know, use that space more effectively? And so your Display Fusion and your virtual desktops, and you can, you know, uh, do a search for virtual desktops to learn more about them. But Control Windows left and right will take you to those virtual desktops. This may help you if you're planning on using a very uh, either a very large uh, TV as a monitor or if you're just trying to get the most out of your setup. Uh, so 